Welcome on back. As always, I'm Carl with Target's Attitude. You have some my professor of knives and all things sharp. Sit on back, grab your pens and paper. We're going to do something a wee bit different today in class. First, a little bit of syllabus work. If you're new to the channel, welcome. We're going to be looking at something a little different today, but normally we talk about knives. And we do, of course, do some camping gear and survival gear, which ties into what we're doing today. If you've been here for a while, just have one question for you. Have you subscribed yet? If you haven't, why? I mean, it's simple enough. Come on, man. Just hit that button right down there. Um, then after you've hit that button there, there's a bell right next to it. You go ahead and hit that. It lets you get notified every time I put up a new video. It's a win-win situation. Win for you because you don't miss any of my videos. Wins for me because, well, let's be honest, the more subscribers I have, the easier it is to get all these neat new things for you to look at. But, let's get on with class here. I've um, got something a little different today, actually. Um, some of you may have heard of a YouTube channel called Bow of the Fifth Column. One of my friends up north uh, watches him pretty frequently. And Bo recently decided to do a staycation scavenger hunt um, just to kind of liven things up and teach a few things during this uh, craziness going on right now. As Bo pointed out, there's a ton of people staying home from work and working from home. So he decided he'd put them to putting together a bug out bag. Admittedly, during this pandemic, everyone was being encouraged to stay home. But shit happens. Um, next instance could be a level 5 hurricane in your area. We could be looking at wildfires like California gets all the time and Tennessee and North Carolina and South Carolina had just a couple years back. In either case, these are things where you can't stay at home. you got to get out of there, get out of there fast. And my friend is not exactly an outdoors person. Never has been. He decided to call on me for some advice so he could try to go on with the Bo's Cavature Hunt. Um, hashtag Bo Bag. So I thought I'd do a couple videos come out on Wednesdays touching on some of the uh, things you might want to put in a bug out bag of that sort of thing. And at least in my opinion, the most important thing to start off with for any bug out bag is water. I mean, you can go without food for a couple days. Um, you can go without sleep for a day or two if you have, absolutely have to. You cannot go without water. Uh, current recommendations is that the average adult male should drink at least 15 cups of water a day. That's just about a half gallon, a little over three liters. That's a lot of water. So you could take and put a couple um, one liter bottles of water in your pack. That would do, but it's kind of heavy. So let's see, and then once you drank those two liters of water, what are you going to do? If you can get more water from a store, everything's great, but if you're on foot because your car is broken down, and the stores are all closed because of whatever emergency you're trying to flee from, what do you do? Simplest answer, of course, is water purification tablets. Um, this particular pack is from Aquamara. I kind of like Aquamara, but there are other good companies out there. They're, they are light. Um, most of them do not 
go bad. There's no expiration date. So they stay good forever. Um, and <coughs> hey, this particular package um, will treat of, let's see here. Now this is 20 tablets in it. And it says one tablet per liter of water. So you're looking at enough tablets here to treat 20 liters of water. That'll keep you going for quite a while. Only problem with this is that these tablets will not remove anything floating in the water. And they tend to taste kind of nasty. But they'll do the trick. Second thing you can do is you can get what's called a water filter straw. Got a filter here, an old straw. Straw gets stuck in the end of the filter. And then when you come up to a stream or pond or whatever source of water you're trying to use, you take your uh, straw, stick it in the filter, put the filter in the water, and just drink out of it like a straw. It works. The uh, filter will remove more than 99%. Uh, actually, it says 99.9% .9 of uh, all mm, bad bacteria and other things in the water. It'll remove anything that's floating in it. All in all, just works really well. And it's small, it's light, you can fit it in your pocket, you know, it's just, or one section of your bag, everything's great. Not bad, except that you're bending over and trying to stick your face right next to the stream or whatever you're trying to get water from. We can't hard on the back. Uh, another thing you could do, this is just the filter itself. This is designed for any sports water bottle that you happen to have that has its own straw. You drop this filter in the bottom of the bottle, fill the bottle up with your water, and you stick the uh, straw down into the filter so that when you start drinking, the filter does the same thing as with this. And then you've got, of course, bottle you can hold anywhere or take along with you. You don't have to stay right now to the um, stream. And again, it'll uh, remove 99.9% .9 of things like Giardia, uh, Cryptopism, um, all sorts of nasty uh, viruses and bacteria. Now, with both of them, they do recommend that you use it in conjunction. Uh, this, at least, they recommend you use in conjunction with these tablets just to make sure that you get everything, which means you have to wait about an hour before you start drinking the water. But it works. And again, I mean, this doesn't add anything to uh, the size of anything at all. You can see... Now it says to use it right there. Uh, slightly better description right there. Works great. But then you're still stuck with only what water you're carrying in that water bottle. And I say, should be about three liters a day. Well, we've got one other possibility here. This is actually my favorite. It's a little bigger, but this is a gravity-activated uh, filtering system. You've got two plastic bags. Um, you get an idea of how it works there. You fill up one bag with your water from your stream or uh, rainwater that's been caught in something or what have you. You put that up high. You run a tube with a filter in it from that bag to the lower bag and you just let it go. Water will go through the filter. Filter itself is rated for up to 80 gallons. So you can filter a ton of water with this. And uh, 
yeah, it takes a little bit more time. It's also got a pump on the tube so that if water is not quite doing it, you can uh, pump it. And this will do two liters at a time. So it's great. You get to wherever you're going that evening. You fill up your uh, system, the top bag and system. Let it run overnight. And in the morning, you've got two liters of uh, good water that you can use throughout the day. Of course, then there's the question of, well, how do you carry that water? You could, of course, carry the bag that the water is filtered into. Or, you can go to a hydration pack. Here's one. This is from Red Rock Survival Gear. Not a bad little pack. Um, you can use it uh, both as a backpack. You've got packs here. You've got your bag right here. Complete with a hose that has come on get out of there here we go sorry it's being a little finicky on me but the hose of course comes out so you've got this on your back Whenever you need a drink, there you go. It's a great way to carry the water. Only problem is, I say this isn't too bad for a day pack type deal, but you're not going to get a lot of stuff in the bag after you fill the bladder up with water. So, what I actually prefer is this one. Again, from Red Rock Survival Gear. Just like with the other one, you've got a bag inside that you can fill up with water. Sorry. That you can fill up with water. You've got the straw so you can drink the water without having to take it off your back. What's nice about this one is that instead of having back strap, backpack straps itself, set up with these moly straps here, which means you can attach it to a larger day pack or rucksack or even a standard backpack. And it's got more moly strapping on the front so you can strap more stuff on here. Um, so you don't have to worry that the bag is really only big enough to carry two liters of water. Now what I will do when I can, you can't do this with all backpacks, but if you can, I'll put this between the backpack itself and my back. The reason I do that is two liters of water is heavy. Um, there's an old saying saying a pint a pound the world around so you figure um and a half gallon there's two pints to quart so there's four plus two quarts in a half gallon um which is we're close to two liters so yeah you're looking at a minimum of 16 pints there um, that means 16 pounds your water is going to be heavy um, and so by putting it closest to your back you keep your backpack from getting unbalanced makes it easier to carry more comfortable the whole way around you can't always do that some backpacks won't allow you to do that with that molly pack I just showed you. 
But a lot of them will. So, there you have it. Mentally, this doesn't quite meet uh, Bo's requirements for uh, what he's talking about on this scavenger hunt. He wants you to find things that you already have in your house. And I'm sure there's plenty of things you can find. Um, as I said, old. if you need to, if you've got a two liter soda bottle, rinse it out, wash it out. There you go, you've got a water bottle. Um, having a good canteen is not a bad idea. Especially if you've run out of uh, filters or water purification tablets and you have to start boiling your water. Don't really want to pour boiled wa boiling wa hot water into one of these hydration packs. You're going to burn your back. But a good metal canteen, you can pour boiling water in without any problems. Um, and a lot of former Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts, for that matter, still have their camping gear from when they were young packed away in the garage somewhere. I know I do. So, yeah, there's lots of other ways. This just gives you a little bit of an idea. If you're interested in what uh, prompted this series of videos, I'll put a link to uh, Bo's uh, Staycation Scavenger Hunt video down below so you can see what my friend was telling me about. And, hey, if you want to go ahead and participate, I'm probably going to be watching right along with Bo. Uh, so, yeah, you want to put any you know, pictures up on Twitter or Instagram? Love to see what ideas you come with. Um, Bo is saying, uh, post it with hashtag BoBag. Uh, that'd be B E A U B A G. Um, that would be great. If you want to call my attention even faster, add, uh, let's see here, how about uh, hashtag TWA scavenger? That way I can find those who uh, got it off my channel even faster. But I definitely encourage you to think about it. And I'll see you next week with some other ideas. Meantime, remember, it may be ability that decides what you can do. It may be motivation that decides what you will do. But it's attitude that decides how well you do it. So if you're going to do anything, do it with attitude. See you now. Bye.